Right, while that's drying off, we can go over onto this tree here. This tree wants to be strong. It's the strongest part, really, the picture, apart from the, the tops of them. So it needs to be strong. You, what you've got to use is black. I know you get people saying, don't use black, lots of, but I get the nicest greens. I don't, I don't buy greens, I mix them. And I mix them with lamp black and a yellow, cadmium yellow. That gives you a really rich, strong, late summery green. Um, if you want a, a more sort of paler green, you using cerulean blue and a, a wee bit of yellow orchid. But I'll, I'll, do, I'll do them demonstrations in other pictures. But in the meantime, have this with a strong lamp black. So what you need to do to get a roundness to the tree is to have burnt sienna ready. So you get some burnt sienna ready. Have some yellow orchid ready, wet, right? And then you get lamp black. And you, you use this to paint down the tree strong. You've got to do it fairly, fairly quickly. It's, it's got to be strong. I don't know if I'm leaning forward there. So it's got to be strong. So you need a really strong lamp black. And you paint this in, in sort of one go, this tree. So you get it, you get it down, you get it down in one go so it doesn't think. So go to the right hand side. It depends on which way your shadow is. But I'm, I'm assuming it's this way. So, uh, yeah, so strong, lamp black down, making it bobble a bit so that you're getting you're getting shape to the tree. It's not just a, a straight line coming down. And take this down into your snow there where you've got your snow and just drag it off to the edge. Now before that even thinks about drying on there, get your burnt sienna you burn sienna wetter in with the burnt sienna just keep going down so you soften this lamp black around the edges just keep adding your burnt sienna softening that lamp black around the edges down into where your masking was for your snow then a more watery burnt sienna a bit more water to it through there down through there and then a wet yellow walker and the wet yellow walker comes down the opposite side of the tree like that blend the two together into there and let them let them just blend together they'll work together now come over the other tree trunk with the darker black again stronger black lamp black this is it's a nice sooty black, it gives, gives nice sort of colours to, to the greens and to the distant trees if you want distant trees, it helps break them up. So black down into that area there, joining that up. Underneath that branch just there, so you've got a, a stronger dark just there like that. Make this strong here, then add the burnt sienna in between. So you've got burnt sienna coming down in between. Blend it in so you get a little bit of cast shadow off this one onto this one. Like that, blend it in up there. Then a wet burnt sienna. And then a wet yellow walker. And the wet yellow walker comes down there, through there into there. You can take it up that branch there a little bit. Wet yellow orchid down into here. Down to where your snow line is just down there. And you've got to leave that alone. You leave that alone for the colours. The colours will move as they run together. The, the, the watery ones here, the burnt sienna yellow orchids, will push into the black and leave a sort of a harder line around the edges. But you've got a nice, rich sort of colouring there. You can carry on in there and make that just a bit stronger on that branch there. But leave these these ones alone. Just leave them to, to form their own shape, form their own shadows. You can see the, the sort of the way the colours are blooming just there. So you've got a nice, strong tree just there. 
Now you need to have a rest. <laughs>